You know, Zach, one of the first sweet and sours we ever did was on the Volkswagen Jetta. I, I, I like the thumbnail. I don't know why we were laughing, but it's certainly a lot of people clicked on it. So here we are back with the GLI version of the Jetta, and we're going to take it for a drive. Who's going first? Winner. Again. Brian, before we get going on the review of the GLI, I was watching the sweet and sour we did of the X5. Yep. And you're wearing sunglasses, and I realized something. When I don't wear sunglasses and it's very bright out, I look like I'm angry. I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like this. And all the way through the video, I'm going, why do I look so angry? And then I realized it's because I need sunglasses, so I'm going to join you. So there you go. Join oh, the club. See, and now I'm way happier. You, 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 you know what? Someone actually commented on my channel. It's kind of funny. And I, I, I think they might be right anyways. They said, you know, I think they were being nice. They said, you know what? If you trim your eyebrows, <laughs> you won't look so angry. So I look, I'm like, are they really that bushy? And then I trimmed them up. I'm like, maybe, maybe they're right. Did you get, did you get Cynthia to do that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I did my own manscaping. Right. <laughs> okay. I do not want to know about that. <laughs> All right, so uh, GLI, and uh, this is basically the sedan version of the GTI, right? Yeah, and who doesn't like the GTI? Like that's I don't a know hot, anybody. Hot hatch. It's like a rite of passage. Did you ever own a GTI? I did not. I owned a GTI, the '92 GTI with the four headlights in the front. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think a GTI is kind of like the entryway, the gateway into German car experience. And this is an even less expensive gateway, right? This is a good value. Well, we'll get to the price in a second. So the regular Jetta has 147 horsepower. Yeah. This one, two liter turbo, 228 horsepower. But I think the biggest differentiator between the regular Jetta and this other outside of the engine, the engine it's obvious, is you get independent rear suspension. Yes, and you don't get that with the regular Jetta. No. And also for ride-wise, this is two inches longer for the wheelbase than the GTI. Oh, I thought you were going to say the, the Jetta. I was no, like, yeah, how did they, they do that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so it's a little bit more compliant yeah. ride, right? So this is built off the same platform, the MQB platform, as the Golf, but the regular Jetta does not have independent rear suspension. So I think this is a nice upgrade. Here's the thing. Styling on the outside, the Jetta, the regular Jetta, I don't exactly love it. I don't think it's a great-looking car. It's okay. But it's not one that I go, oh man, that is just a great, sweet looking machine. And do you think this makes it better? Uh, you know, this, for, first of all, this is the 35th anniversary package. Okay. It's, it's a cosmetic package. So you get 35th anniversary badging. Uh, it has badging on the outside. This one also has, which I'm not a huge fan of, it's got those red circles around the rims. That's yeah. like the, that's like the dealer install rim protector package yeah. that you just get straight from the factory. But uh, this gray though, this gray is, is, I like the gray. I do like this gray yeah. and the, and the two-tone with the black roof. It's funny because I was online looking at the different ways you can configure the car and I would pick this color. Yeah. All right, so styling on the outside, it looks a little bit more assertive. The wheels certainly make a big difference, but the biggest issue I have with the regular Jetta is the gap between the wheel well and the wheel. The gap there is uh, too high. In this one, it definitely looks much better. So I think in the GLI trim, it's much more cohesive. But you think this is a great package, uh, a great deal, right? It is, because in Canada, mm -hmm. there is only one, basically one package. Right. You can add on the 35th anniversary, and that, that's a little bit of cosmetic like we talked about. But other than that, it's all to you know, it's all in. So like, all you have to choose is choose is the transmission. You can still get a manual. Yes, six-speed manual or this seven-speed DSG. And uh, there's one package you can buy, which is the driver's assistance package. That's so that, like the, uh, the lane keep and all that, right? Yeah, and that's nine hundred ninety-five dollars. Otherwise, everything's included. So let's talk about like in the interior. You yeah. get a digital dash. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, you get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You get uh, that in, on all of them. Wireless charging. That's good. Right. You know what? Uh, we also have the Arteon we're going to be reviewing as well. Yeah. And that is uh, basically the way it's equipped is over $50,000. It doesn't have wireless charging. Yeah. You know, it's like the, it's got these nice sports seats. It's, it's very well styled. And of course, it's got tons of room in the back and that trunk. That's why you get this over the GTI because you get a huge amount of trunk space. So this is the car for somebody that needs a sedan, um, 
may be for, I don't know, why would you need a sedan or a hatchback? But, you know, there's some people just like sedans, but they want to have the extra space uh, in the back seat, and, and those two inches make a difference in the back seat. Oh, huge. huge. And then some people, they're just not into hatches. They, they might feel like it's a, for the younger crowd, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I mean, let's, this is a more mature GTI. Well, it's interesting, you know, because in the United States, um, hatchbacks are not as popular as sedans. And it is, it is true here in Canada, but the adoption of hatchbacks is much higher in Canada than it is in the United States. And a big reason, I, I, I heard a stat years ago and he said for, for in the 70s and 80s, insurance was higher for hatchbacks because okay. they were easier to break in. So a lot of people shifted to sedans and it helped in insurance costs, but maybe that's just why uh, they're much more popular south of the border. But this is a car that um, you could drive to work every day and have a little bit of fun on the weekend and lots of room for kids. It does have the fake sound thing through the stereo. Do you like that or not? I don't mind it at all, right? Because I'm the driver. If it's fake, I just, I just want to hear it. That's fine. Okay. Right? So what do you, what mode are we in? So we are in um, custom. Right. Custom. Eco, I uh, forget that. Comfort. Let's see how it feels in comfort here. So this is the uh, dynamic chassis control is standard on this car, right? Yep. Okay. Should we get to the price? Because I think that in Canada is the big selling feature of this car. Okay, what is the price? It's thirty-one thousand six ninety-five, and you're saying that's all in. That's all in, other than that driver's assistance package. And if you want to get the thirty-fifth anniversary yeah. stuff, so say thirty-two thousand um, dollars. The the GTI doesn't have anywhere near this level of features, yeah. and it's around the same price. If you want to get the Autobahn version of the GTI, it's $36,000. So this is starting to look like a deal. So do you think this is going to move more units for them with this trip? It should. It really should. If you are thinking of, of a sedan, a Volkswagen sedan, like the Jetta, you know, do yourself a favor and try one of these out, seriously. That, that's night and day compared to the regular Jetta. Well, that's the thing, yeah, you're actually right. If you start adding up all the features you would want in a Jetta, and then you're saying, you know what, I could go for a little bit more power, oh, when I get independent rear suspension, and I get a better looking car, then it starts to look like a deal. I think that this is gonna sell better than uh, they expected based on the price. Because we had a GTI on my channel, sorry, a GLI on my channel, not that long ago, and uh, it was almost $40,000. It wow. was really expensive. Holy smokes. So, let's get to the sweet and sour. All right, what do you like? I like just, I like the price, Yeah. hands down, right? It's full featured, you get a lot of content for the price. Okay, here's another suite. I think it looks, it's the best looking Jetta in the family, so that's, that's something. Yep, performance. You put that into sport mode, and I love, you know, or, or even just put that transmission, just to pull it down, go into sport mode. This is, it's a fun to drive car. And here's the other thing is, uh, what else does it compete against? That's maybe a sweet as well. It doesn't really have much uh, direct competition. There really aren't that many sort of no. performance oriented compact sedans anymore. No. Well, of course, you know, you have like the, uh, the Type R, you know. But that's not, that's, yeah, Type R, yes, for sure. But that's that's a whole other level up and a whole other up in price too. Okay, now the sours. Uh, so as much as the styling is improved with the GLI trim, I just think overall the Jetta is not the best looking attempt um, for sure. They've definitely had better looking Jettas in the past. Yeah, you know, I kind of agree with you there, but I got, I have no issue with the styling here. Yeah, it's 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 not in your face going wow, but I, you know, other than. My only sour maybe is, it's so small, it's the, the red around the rims. Yeah, that's that, a bit that, cheesy. That's, that's about that's all I have. That's a bit like sort of aftermarket tuner look, but yeah. maybe they're trying to appeal to the younger crowd, not us. Yeah. All right, so here you go. Here's the big question. GTI, GLI, which one, with your money, would you pick? With my money? With my money. With your, your, with your money? With, with your, your money. With your money, I'll buy both. <laughs> I get a 911. <laughs> with your money. <laughs> um, you know what? <sighs> That is a, that's, that's not I mean, a fair question. I know which one I'd pick. You'll, you're gonna pick GTI. I'm gonna pick GTI all day long. For me, it's just one of the most perfect cars made today and has been for decades. I know, I, I know. think the GTI is just, it's just perfect. You know, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say the GLI. Just at Just this to point, be the contrarian? No, no, at this point in my life, you know, with the kids and how big they are, this is just a more practical vehicle. And you know what? The back seat is probably good for the dad bod. Let's yeah. give it a shot. All right.
Now, this is why you'd buy this over a, a GTI. Yeah. The, the leg room is good. Yeah, the, my seat is pretty far back right now, but headroom, so, headroom's good. Yeah, no, it's a big car. You know what's interesting is like the, this is, I still believe the largest compact car in its class, right? Yeah. So you're getting almost mid-size dimensions. This is like compact plus. Like, <laughs> just like the dad. <laughs> that's a nice way to say, yeah. You know what I, you know what I am? I'm, I'm thin plus. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm heavy light. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? Like this is hard plastic. There's quite a bit of hard plastic. Let me see the front. The front is soft, but the back has hard. It doesn't bother me too much. I like I like the uh, the headrests. These headrests do not actually Move. go up or down though. Yeah, all that's right? all right. So it's it's if you have a car seat in here, which I did, it's hard to get it. Oh, the tether. To there's heated there. seats. Uh, I guess that's standard in this standard, as well. Standard rear heated seats. I told you this thing is loaded. Nice. Yeah. Roomy. If you need the room, Jetta might be the way to go. So we've decided I'd get the GLI. I get the GTI. That's another edition of, of Sweet, Sweet and, and Sour. Sour.